substance that I needed and how I almost died to myself in my yearning to make you love me the way I so deeply deserved. I wanted to recount all of the sleepless nights and the pains in my gut that mere words cease to be able to define to this day. I wanted to hate you, to wish you bad luck that will last you for generations to come. I wanted to give you a dose of the heartless words that escaped your mouth and penetrated my very soul. I wanted to let you know how loving you was the equal and equivalence of being cut with the razor, slowly, precisely, and intensely, followed by a glimpse of happiness here and there. I wanted to tell you that the Louis Vuitton bags, the Gucci bags, and the first class flights would never make it better. A simple I'm sorry would have sufficed. I wanted to tell you how I had almost made the decision to become just like you, cold and heartless to any man that stepped in my space. Yet as my pen touched this paper, I couldn't do it. All the anger I felt was gone. There was nothing left for you except sympathy. I realized in that very moment that hurt people hurt people. I realize that you will never truly understand love until you learn to love yourself first. So loving me could never have fit into that equation. I now understand the pure hell that you were and are fighting within your temple. And there was nothing I could do to save you because no matter how bad I wanted it for you, you had to want it for yourself. Your actions were the reflections of yourself. My heart is saddened because life is truly a gift. And each day you stay on your destructive path, you'll miss it. I am truly grateful that I can now see the beauty in everything, even us. There is always something to be learned. The rain is no longer gloomy, but rather cleansing, nourishing, a new beginning from God himself. I see your missed calls and texts on my phone from time to time, but for me, there is nothing left to say. My pleas fell upon deaf ears, and at this very point in my life, so will yours. I truly treasure and respect my time, and at this point in my life, I made the decision to use it wisely. There is no looking back for me. That chapter of my life is over. I gave 300% and I can sleep at night in peace, knowing that my vow before God was not in vain. I have accepted the apology I am sure I will never get from you. I forgive you, and I wish you the best. I refuse to let any ounce of anger from our situation set up shop in my heart. I can't be mad because truth is, at one point in my life, with you is exactly where I want it to be. I choose happiness, I choose peace, I choose forgiveness. I choose to wrap myself in the gift of today. I choose to entertain only things that are positive, uplifting, and encouraging. And I choose to forgive because in my humanness, I will require it one day for myself as well. I choose to fly, I choose to love like I have never been hurt before. I choose to breathe and speak life. Most of all, I choose me. Goodbye. Thank you.